Hey folks, what's up? Graham Brown here in the studio, and as you can see, um, I haven't shaved today, wearing pretty much dressed down in my sneakers. Um, this is pretty much what I do every day, and um, if you see me in the studio, you often see that I wear shorts. Um, you know, I haven't done my hair. Um, if, no beauty filters today. Um, you can see the wrinkles and everything, and. Um, I think there's a point to this, and the point is is that uh, the best advice I have ever received in um, personal branding and in you know doing these kind of videos and putting yourself out there is this, and the best advice was don't ever create two versions of yourself. Now, that advice was given to me, and it really made me think because I was doing a lot of video, I was doing a lot of corporate stuff, and I was you know wearing a suit. And trying to get, you know, the really perfect camera angles. And, um, you know, the, the problem with that is that, you know, at the end of the day, people buy from people they trust. And if you can come across as authentic and real, then that's far more powerful than coming across as polished and, you know, a PR pitch. You know, and it's why, for example, it's why people listen to podcasts as opposed to people listen to um, you know, conference panel sessions. It's because we want real people now. We we live in a world where, um, you know, I, I can put beauty filters on this video and I can have, like, bigger eyes and I can, you know, remove all my wrinkles and the grey hair, you know, and I can do all that stuff and look far more Hollywood. And we live in that world today and it's fake. We live in a fake world. And, uh, you know... Because it's becoming so fake in marketing, the real value is in going the other way. The real value is becoming more and more authentic. Why is it that increasingly we see on YouTube or on any kind of media stars, rock stars, film stars doing stupid things like sitting in a car and singing karaoke or driving around drinking coffee with a comedian? Why, why do people do that now? Is because... <clears throat> People really want authenticity, and the only way to be authentic is to be vulnerable, and the only way to be vulnerable is to be real and put yourself out there um, and not be perfect, right? So if you try and increase the production value, you actually reduce the message. You know, the key, the message is the fact that it's raw, it's real, it's not perfect, it's vulnerable, and that's why, you know... When you do this kind of, uh, you know, for example, if you're marketing on LinkedIn, if you're pushing a video out there, it's important that you maintain that the image and the message that you project is actually you. And it's not like a polished version of you, because at the end of the day, the polished version are, is less valuable. So that would be my advice. You know, don't worry about not having the perfect angle or the perfect look or, you know, having, you know, just dressing just like you walked off the street because you know if people meet you in business that's you and if people don't like it then we'll screw them it doesn't matter because you don't want those people in your life anyway because you have to constantly maintain this facade so that's the best advice i've ever received and hopefully that advice was useful to you what do you think we'd love to hear your comments um and your thoughts you know what to do in the box below my name's graham brown and don't ever create two versions of yourself